good flick on one. It's Haldane. Chance here with Jarrett. Looks to get the ball in. The shot comes in, fired into the top corner by Doug Loft. Vale ahead, only 11 minutes gone here, and the home fans already with something to shout about. Loft on for Taylor, for Vale. Their final change of the evening. In towards Richards, lays it off, here is Loft! An immediate impact from the substitute. Barely a minute after coming on from the bench, Doug Loft has got Vale back on level terms. Confidence really is surging through this Northampton Town team at the minute. Not Vale, if they were to win today, their playoff hopes might be ignited a little, perhaps. Bit of a long shot for them. This isn't such a long shot. And goalkeeper hasn't dealt with it, and they're back in business. Equaliser. And the lead lasted only two minutes. We've only had five. We've had two goals at Vale Park. And it's Doug Loft who's got the equaliser. Steele didn't deal with the initial strike. And on the follow-up, it's 1-1. Loft. Too much on for him at the moment. Loft might go on his own. Wonderful strike. What a strike that is from Doug Loft. Well, sheer relief all around the Vale camp, who trailed here by a goal to nil. But Doug Loft has put them in front with one of the goals of the season. Paul Vale, who left it late to get a point against Crawley on the opening day. Managed their own victory at Bonnet at the weekend, and they've got a goal from Loft. Five minutes before the break, and Paul Vale the level. Squirmed his way through the goalkeeper. Be disappointed with this at his near post as well. Baseball played into space. Goalkeepers come a long way out, and Doug Loft gets there first. Glenn Morris made the decision to come to the edge of the area. Loft may have injured himself in scoring that goal, but Port Vale are back in this. Goalkeeper came a long way out. Bravery from Loft as well. Start of the far brighter here, Paul Vale, Doug Loft, wonderful shot, wonderful goal. Scott Bevan tries to get there helplessly, and Loft picks out the top corner. Eight minutes before half time, and this game is already running away from Bristol Rovers. Vale point, just one of their last four, scored just one goal in that time as well. There's Doug Loft. Oh, wonderful strike. Doug Loft finds the top corner, no chance for Luke McCormick. And Doug Loft levels things up for Port Vale. It's a fine strike as well on the volley. Just under some pressure here. Bradford failing to clear their lines effectively. Loft just lurking on the edge of the area, just making his way towards the penalty spot. Here he is, Loft again! Equaliser just after half an hour. The captain leading by example, and Port Vale a level. Going up just too high for Pope. Back by Hughes, and side footed in with the aid of a deflection by Doug Loft. And the Port Vale captain restores the home team's lead. And with 24 minutes to go, Vale have got themselves back in front. Now Griffith with arms up, but it's going to be played in towards the penalty area. Might fall here for Loft! Brilliant finish! Powerfully driven home. We've got a cracker of a match here at Vale Park. There with this one goal lead. Griffith with a good ball. This is Huggill out wide and clinically dispatched by Doug Loft. On his return to Sussex, the former Brighton player, it's 2-0 to Port Vale. Huggill setting him up, but Loft catching that sweetly with the left foot. 
Swindon are 10 points already worse off than they were at the same stage last season. There might be a chance for Vale to get in around the back here with Jenison and Myrie Williams. Oh, well done by Myrie Williams. Good ball across and turned in at the near post by Doug Loft. And 20 minutes gone, Port Vale take the lead. Doug Loft with his fifth league goal of the season. Great ball in by Myrie Williams. They've actually won three of the last four home games. They've gone have Port Vale. It's got their recent setbacks. Daniel Jones to uh, deliver the cross. And the finish is applied by Doug Loft. Port Vale in front with just 15 minutes play. It's the sixth of the season for Loft. Fine start. Goal looking enough at the moment for Port Vale. That's a good ball. It's Loft. It is 2 0. Doug Loft has done it again. Port Vale double their lead. Really well taken goal. That's number seven of the season now. Second of the night for Loft. This nail to launch it long and the Coventry defence have gone missing and Doug Loft is in here. He's got it over Joe Murphy and he's got it into the empty net. And with under a minute played here at six fields, it's Port Vale who take the lead. Just 37 seconds on the clock as Doug Loft. Long he goes. This is Hugo. Surrounded by red shirts. Loft. And Loft goes for goal. Oh, an error from the goalkeeper and he's squirmed in. It's an absolute gift for Paul Vell and for Dougie Loft. As it squammed under Paul Jones.